You can now access Claude code from anywhere using the Claude website. This means you can continue working on your project even if you're not behind your PC. According to this Anthropic article, Claude code for the web is now in beta and research preview. And we can assign multiple coding tasks that run on Anthropic's managed cloud infrastructure. And this is perfect for working on bugs, routine fixes, or parallel development work. So in order to access this feature, you can click on this code button or alternatively simply go to claw.ai slash code. You should see a button asking you to connect your GitHub account. So simply continue with that authentication and Claw will then have access to all of your repositories. And you can search for your specific repository like this JSON anything project that we created in a previous video. Now at the moment, I'm really not a fan of this theme. It's a little bit harsh. So what I'm going to do instead is change the theme to something that looks way better. So to do that, I'll actually use a website called TweakCN. We can go to try now. And from here, we can change the theme. So this is sort of the default chat CN theme. And there's many different options here. So let's say we wanted to go with Amber Minimal. Of course, we can make any other tweaks, like we can change the typography. But let's assume that this is actually what we want. So let's grab this code and then back in Claude Code Web, let's say, hey, I'm really not a fan of the current theme. Please can you replace the styles with these styles instead? Then let's paste in those styles and that should be good enough. Let's run this. The first thing you will notice is that Claude Code will create these different sessions. And on the right hand side, we can see the actual conversation. It's similar to what we would see in the code editor. So it's showing the reasoning, the tool calls, and the file changes. And while this is busy, I don't want to point out that Claude Code actually creates a separate branch for these changes. In fact, we can actually see that Claude just created this branch on our actual GitHub repository. So if we go to the repo, we can actually see that new branch that was just created. It's also available in the list of branches. All right, cool. So now that the changes are done, and in the summary, we can see Claude is saying the changes have been committed and been pushed to this branch. Now we have a few options. We can continue chatting to Claude code to continue making changes. Or if we're happy with the changes, we can create a pull request. And this is really cool. We also have the option to continue this conversation in our code editor. Let me show you that first. So we can click on open in CLI, which copies a command to our clipboard. What we can do then is open the project in our code editor, or you can just use the CLI tool. It really doesn't matter. What we need to do then is run the command that we just copied. Watch what happens to the branch when I run this command. The brand new branch that Claude Code created was downloaded to our machine. And Claude Code was also started, and we can see the full conversation history that we saw in Claude Web. What I can do at this stage is start a dev server. And look at that, that looks way better than what we have in production. Now, how do you test these changes if you do not have access to your PC yet? Well, since I deploy my projects to Vercel, Vercel automatically gives you access to preview branches. Here, I can see that branch that was just pushed. I can see exactly what that change would look like. All right, so if we wanted to make any additional changes, we can simply prompt Claude code but since I'm happy with these changes, I'm going to create a pull request directly from Claude Code. The benefit of doing it through Claude Code is that the title and the description of the pull request will be pre-populated. Then let's create this pull request. This will run additional checks. And of course, if you added Claude Code to your GitHub repository, Claude Code will also do a code review. I'm just going to skip that and run confirm merge. And of course, let's confirm merge. Right, the merge was complete, so let's delete this branch. And back in Claude Code, we can now archive this session. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Claude Code tips and tricks. Then watch my other Claude Code videos over here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.